Hey guys, in this video I wanted to share with you one of my favourite parts about this game. Hidden in the games are these symbols. They are actually the precursor alphabet. They follow the same structure as the English alphabet. We just swap out the English characters for these ones instead. All over the games you'll be able to find them and using this chart you'll be able to translate them. They can be found on street signs, vehicles, walls, pipes, clothing, precursor buildings, eco vents. There are even messages scrolling on the computer and TV screens. I'll include a few of them in here, but I want to encourage you to explore and see where you can find them. There is even a cheat code hidden in Jack X that is still to be solved on what it actually unlocks, if anything. This image of the alphabet cipher was taken from the back of this book I have that came with the Jack and Daxter promo box. The orb on the front just reads Jack and Daxter. Behind the demo, DVD and press discs inside the book, the text once all translated and arranged properly, it matches the text around the map that comes with the Precursor Legacy, which reads, In ancient dreamless unbated sleep, the silent giants wait to be awakened. Deep will their slumber be, silent their once echoing voices, until the world has no memory of their beginnings. In the gloom they will watch, and they will wait, those who go to them for answers will return only with new questions, but these will come when silence ends. The one who carries the light will awaken the voices with him whose fate was twisted towards darkness long ago. In the time before time, when the light bursts from the earth, the answers to the questions will begin, but only begin. For still the world will not be ready to learn the truth of its past or the secrets of its future. On the PS3 Jack and Daxter collection disc, you can find text on the disc display screen and in the credits menu. Here's what the credits screen reads. The top row reads Jack Collection, the middle row Jack and Daxter, and the bottom row Mass Media. There is two lines of text on the precursor orbs. The top reads Naughty Dog, and the bottom reads Madman. The text around the switch to activate the teleporter gate reads the word fuel over and over and the text around the teleporter gate itself reads life over and over. The text around the precursor block is in the snowy mountain level. If you stand on top and spin in a circle, you'll get the words you are getting really dizzy. The poster after you win the class 1 race reads champions with the picture of Jack and Daxter on it. The sign that looks the same as the Naughty Dog logo is just that but in precursor text. And this fancy looking neon sign just reads Praxis. The inside of the Oracle's hut you can find a tapestry that reads, The noble will be assured of a place in history, this being granted a form of life to be forever venerated by their ancestors as one who lived a life of good. The neon sign above the bar in the hip hog just reads Daxter, and the one by the door reads Morgan. In the hip hog saloon in Jack 3, there is a center computer, it has a single symbol that scrolls through to read out Morgan as well. In the power station in Jack 2 and 3, also in the Freedom League, you can find monitors with the text reading Morgan is still missed even after a year has passed, and Morgan I miss you. Morgan, 13 years hard time, there will never be another. Good dog, I will always love you. One really informative bit of text is in Jack X. When picking a character it tells you quite a lot about them. For Jack 1, it reads, Sex, male, height 5 foot 6 inches, weight 145 pounds, Eyes, Cerulean, age 15. And then for Jack 2, you can see it's actually written Jack II. The height changes to 5 foot 8, the weight changes to 165, the eyes stay the same, and the age goes up to 17. And then for Jack 3, his height increases up to 5 foot 9 inches, his weight increases up to 175, and his age increases to 18. Where it just says Jack, that's for the current game Jack X. 
and his height increases again up to 5 foot 10 inches. His weight up to 185 pounds and his age goes up to 19. If you go over to Daxter, same thing, sex male, height 2 foot 10 inches, weight is 48 pounds. His eyes are also cerulean and his age is 19, which is the same as Jack. Because of this current form of Daxter, you can see he's wearing pants, so it's Jack X. For Pekka, it's quite interesting because his sex is also male, his height is 2 foot 8 inches, his weight is 42 pounds, his eyes are raven, but his age says minus 118. Now, I'm not too sure if it's meant to say minus or if he is just 118 years old, but that is something to note. They also have these for every other character in the Jack X game. So have a look for yourself and see what you can find. On the GT Blitz show there is a text that scrolls along the bottom. When translated and put in order it reads, Combat racing is for naughty drivers who love to go fast. Remember the precursors are watching so show them how well a hero can race. Hold left one and right one together then press triangle triangle circle square circle square x triangle x circle for a prize. Drive fast but not too fast. It's hard to make those tricky turns sometimes. Look at all the old games and you'll see Jack has always had goggles. He was born to race. Try inserting a memory card with an old Jack save game and see what happens. Jack X will rock, but you know what I think someone should do? Make a game all about Orange Lightning. Wouldn't that be cool? Be careful what you wish for. Tess loves Daxter and Daxter loves that Tess loves Daxter. By the way, all the dogs say hello. Did you know that Pogo is now a naughty dog? Like I said at the start, what that code unlocks is still unknown. I think this is such a great addition to the games, and I had a lot of fun translating everything I could find when I was younger. I hope next time you play, you keep a lookout for what's hidden in plain sight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.